Hmm. Anthony, how do you feel about the allegations made against you? I'm not worried. I think there's going to be a lot of disappointed people out there, though. I think people are sitting back right now. They're so glad that they're right. As long as people have been screaming scam, con, Ponzi scheme, people want to be right so bad. And I have a feeling that after this video airs, there's going to be a lot of silence. some big plans in store for these charities, Anthony. Uh, so what we've done is we decided to purchase five different color dial o oyster perpetuals, the new 41 millimeter references. We picked branded colors that would kind of tie into the charity. And what we're gonna do is we are going to auction those off and donate 100% of the proceeds to those individual charities. Um, we're going to have a link on our website where you can go on and bid and, you know, these watches range anywhere from 13,000 up. Uh, we're hoping that because it is going to a good cause, we can raise even more than market value. And then, like I said, we're going to donate a hundred percent of that to these charities. What the? What? <laughs> this is Marco's idea. <laughs> that's what that's the other thing too this was marco's this was actually marco's idea so anytime anyone tries to get a hold of you or a member of your team we don't answer uh, uh then there's no way they can there's no communication from anybody correct correct unless it's a client that actually has uh money or inventory with us we've we've talked to every single one of our clients and every one of our actual clients are cool they're like is this a pr stunt and they're like it's genius nice. we're trying to make the watch world and like oh, I, like, I, oh shit. what <laughs> <laughs> no way <laughs> what cold can you read that what yeah, i mean what? look obviously he's around <laughs> is i don't know what is he calling i think he i think he butt dialed me by accident i think that was his way <laughs> letting me know that he's watching if i were going to run off with I would keep all the accounts running as normal and I would just, I would disappear, not my entire team. I would not make it so f***ing obvious. Dude, by, this article came out six hours after we deactivated stuff. Zero facts behind it. And, and if you read the article, it says, after our own, investi our, our own investigation, what was their investigation? They went to my office and my door was locked and my light was turned off and I didn't answer my cell phone? I mean... For, for Christ's sakes, I could have been in the hospital. Something bad could have happened. And this guy has proven our point that uh, someone's entire world can be turned upside down because of social media. And look at how much time people have spent. I, I'll be willing to bet people have spent more time in the last 40 hours watching this than they have in, in six months giving their time to charity. I completely understand what y'all had to do. Take your time. Do your own due diligence and look at my accounts. I'll send you my Chase accounts. I'll send you my, my IFS shipping history showing you that these watches, these transactions are legit. Call Roman Scharf. Roman Scharf is a big YouTuber in this space and he just did a video. And on his live video, he said, it doesn't make sense. He went dark on Tuesday, Tuesday morning wire for $1,000 for a watch he owed me for.
let's uh i'm good with it i try, I try to, uh let me know what you need me to do to help you out just keep me in the loop all we need now is i just need my accounts open back up i've got a four hundred thousand dollar wire coming in from my investor who's very aware of what we're doing and i can give you his personal information and all that you can reach out to him verify that he knows what's going on who he is and who we are to him but i just need that money to come in so i can pay some more people just like you're talking to me normal here you're not freaking out every single one of our clients that actually have watches on consignment with us are cool we, we've been yeah. getting text messages the last couple of days and phone calls and they're like hey guys you know a lot of chatter going on around about y'all should i be worried and we right. just say no right. no Stay tuned. Yeah, no, I, I, I get, I, like I said, I get it. And I'm, I'm, you know, like I said, the, the, the challenge I had was just not knowing. I, I get the, the, the line you have to walk with that because, you, you know, you, you've got a strategy you're, you're mm -hmm. trying to deploy here. You don't want to mess it up. Of course. But then I'm curious, you know, I mean, there's no way to know, but do you think this is going to impact, you know, the, the trust that buyers will have? So not just, you know, the folks that are selling watches to you or consignment and we're having these discussions and we feel comfortable. Do you think that's going to be an impact, though, on the people wanting to buy from y'all? I think if the message that we want to deliver gets delivered appropriately, I don't think that'll be a problem. And the reason I think that is because, think about this, people that can't trust us, we came back. We didn't leave. Yeah. We, what, did, what did we ultimately do? We shut down our social media. We closed the store. We didn't answer our phones. Could be pretty similar to someone that's going on vacation for a week. The dip, I, I don't think it'll be a problem because the guys that are actually doing business with us are standing by supporting us. The only other thing I really want to say is thank you to our clients, our friends, and our fans that stayed loyal throughout all this. There was a lot of speculation and we've seen a lot of people express their opinions, but you guys stood by our side and you showed us how important it was to see things out before jumping to conclusions. So guys, we sincerely thank you. We also want to issue a huge thank you to those of you that helped spread this word and that helped spread the speculation and the fire. Because without you guys, honestly, this wouldn't have gotten as much attention as it got. And we wouldn't have been able to put as many eyes on this as we were able to. So thank you guys as well. Tune in this.